Um, I wanted to do this piece, uh, although the script said that he used to pass on the mic, uh, and there's a reason. So, Moin Bai, Mohamed Moy, uh, is the Chief uh, Executive Officer of Bioscience. He co-founded with his elder brother, Rafiq Islam, the company. And what he's done, he's actually been able to secure millions of pounds of investment into this company. He's won a very large number of awards. And one of the biggest one is the uh, winner of the Ernst & Young Enterprise of Award in 2018 for Health and Life Sciences in Canada. So, you know, to actually get an award from Ernst & Young uh, is absolutely fantastic. And what he's done through his dynamic vision, not only has he made some group biosciences successful, but also helped to create a foundation that will carry the vision of his parents. And you know, that is absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure my Tanoi and my Maui uh, in, in peace in heaven, they will be very happy with what they're doing and they will be very proud of the gathering today. So this man is the start of his vision to make this happen. And when I was talking to him uh, yesterday, he was talking about operating in so many countries. So I'm very privileged that they decided to host the UK launch of Sumru Foundation here in Oldham. And it gives me enormous pleasure to welcome him to the stage, uh, Mohamed Moinun. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jabarbai. Thank you, Zakaria. I still remember about 28, 29 years ago when Jakaria, my father insisted that Jakaria, his grandson, should stay in Bangladesh so that he can guide and set his future path of education. And my youngest brother, Imon, over there, he was a couple of years old, older than me. And my dad, taking them every day to school, we were a very humble, middle, lower middle class family, in a rickshaw, carrying two of them in his hand, sitting in the rickshaw and going every day. So that young man, after 28 years or 29 years here and talking about my dad, it's really, you know, watered my eyes. But I think we are here gathered to talk about him, how he inspired us and how he could inspire the generations to come. Two months ago, Canada and UK created a collaboration for next generation of biomanufacturing, the drugs and medicine that will cure the, any future disease. Based on the lesson learned from pandemic, we know that research in silos will not work. We need to collaborate. And there is just only one ocean between Canada and UK. You can easily cross this ocean. And because of the similarities between these two countries, the two governments decided that, okay, there needs to be more collaboration. <coughs> So 10 companies from Canada were selected to come in a delegation. So when I was talking with my brother, who is the chief scientific officer of Somru, that okay, we should, usually one of us goes into mission because one of us have to do the day-to-day -day business management and stuff. But this time we said, okay, let's go together in this mission. And we called Jabbarbai and saying that, okay, Jabbarbai, we have a deep root in the UK. And as after we finish the mission, we want to do something. We want to talk about the Sobru Foundation. And he gladly said, yes, please come. We will be very happy to host you guys. So that's the reason we are here. And we are here for the warm welcome that we received here. In my visit to Liverpool, to Stephen H., to Darlington, to London, I have seen the great infrastructure the Canada, UK government has provided to the various institutions for research. And we have been discussing with multiple universities to do the collaboration, bring the Songru technologies here. And we are also talking with the Manchester University to see that, okay, how we can collaborate more closely. So that's the reason we are here. We want to see, but 
even though when Jabarbai mentioned that, okay, me and my brother, we migrated to North America, UK, and in USA and Canada, a lot of our family members migrated to here. And it's not only just last 50 years, it's the hundreds of years of, you know, uh, deep roots that we have here in UK. Because my great grandfather from my maternal, maternal uncle side, maternal side, was, came to UK. And so we have five generations of family members in the UK. So we thought that okay, UK would be a great place to extend not only our biotechnology work, but also the foundation work that we have been doing. So Somru Bioscience is a biotechnology company that develops innovative technologies to bring to the market so that pharmaceutical companies use our technologies can bring and accelerate their drug development. So if you look into that drug development, it's a lengthy cycle. It takes 12 years, 10 years. Using our technology, we can shorten this time by half so that the drugs can come, the life-saving drugs, the cancer therapies, can come to the market sooner so that it will be cheaper, more affordable. And why do we want to make this affordable? Where did this thought come from? Because when I was just 18 in 2000, and my eldest brother, Rafik, who is the CSO, was doing cancer research in the US, and my father, and I was preparing to come to Canada or in USA. We just find, I just finished my grade 12 exam from this cadet college. And when I came home, my dad said that, okay, I have been diagnosed with cancer. So I said, okay, I'm just 18 years old. I said, brother, we can solve this problem. I am this young guy. He said, okay, yeah, it should not be an issue. My brother is doing all the research. We should be able to do it Bangladesh. So I took him to the capital city. So from Silet to Dhaka, which is the capital of Bangladesh. And my brother collaborating with me, giving me ideas that, okay, yeah, do this type of things. Go do this type of uh, cancer specialties do this type of test, and then you know, see that if his you know, um, diagnosis is this way, then this is the <coughs> care plan we need to provide to him. But for the first time, when even though I took it as a challenge, I realized how difficult it is to navigate through the healthcare system, to find the right doctor, to find the right advice. And even if you find the right doctor, right advice, and even if the from the first world country, your brother is guiding you through the process. You cannot afford the medicine. It is so damn expensive. Even if you sell your land and wants this medicine, then it is not available. Even according to the UN statistics, over 2 million people worldwide is deprived of this life-saving drugs. When I migrated to Canada, I realized also that you know, in the first world country itself, it's still a problem. Medicine is very expensive. So we fought the battle for only six months. And my father passed away. We could not do anything. But I always had in back of my mind that okay, this frustration that I went through, this hard, you know, the sad part of the life, how we can make it an inspiration. Because my dad, you know, we, we he, he he always wanted to give back to the community. He never thought about himself. Our house, our family member, everywhere. People used to come to our community because he's the headmaster. People relied on his advice. People relied on his guidance. And my mom was always there helping. Anyone needs to go see a doctor and stuff, my mom was the gracious host, making sure that goes to the right hospital or to the right clinic gets the medication they need. So we had this when I migrated to Canada, right after my dad passed away, I had that okay, we need to do something. So twelve years ago when we founded Songru Bioscience, that was our vision and mission to make drugs affordable for everyone. So in last twelve years we have worked with thirty different molecules, 30 different drugs in various stages of clinical trials and approval process that went through using our technology worldwide. 
we have over 250 clients. We have been trusted by all the large farmers globally. We have invested more than 20 million. Right now it stands as an old slide. Right now it stands about 35 million dollar investment that we received from public government, you know, sites and some private investment. And we have a healthy 30% year and year over year growth. So from our family, we always had this mission that okay, you need a little bit to live your life and rest using our dad's vision and mission that we should give back to the community. try to give back to the community and that's how that's why we formed this foundation songu foundation with the motto to education innovation and entrepreneurship the education system is changing i don't know if anybody is understanding in this hall hopefully most people should have realized that again with the ai with the machine learning the way people comprehend education will be totally changed in the next 20 to 30 years. My dad, 50, 60 years ago, was a visionary in education. So we said, okay, the new changing education, we need to empower the primary school where my dad taught. So the three schools we did in Bangladesh as a pilot study group, and we are working closely with these primary schools giving them the right sets of tools for the education. And then, using this education, when you educate people properly, then you know that okay, the edu innovation will thrive. People will do innovation. And using this innovation, just for innovation is no benefit. You need to know how to be an entrepreneur and do social entrepreneurship. Bring your innovation to the market. So with that goal, we are working in different countries under Songu Foundation umbrella. All the family members has decided that we will contribute all the wealth of Songu Bioscience to the Songu Foundation. So we have decided to build a multi-purpose training center in Bangladesh. That center will house a community health clinic. This will also train people in IT. This will train people in handicraft. It will be a gift center where people can sell products. It will be a guest house so that people can go and stay sometimes. And it will run in a self-sustaining model. So this is the plan we are integrated. You know, we have finalizing the architecture this year and hopefully break the ground later in this year. So this three areas, we also want to work in Oldham because we have the deep root here and we want to collaborate with schools in terms of education, we want to collaborate with universities for innovation and try to bring some entrepreneurs mind into the science and technology. And I have other speakers who will speak specifically the UK chapters what we are going to do. Now, I have taken more than 15 minutes, I think, <laughs> so um, I will pass the presentation to my brother, Rafiq Islam, who not only a big brother, but for the last 24 years, took the fatherly role for all of us, because he is the eldest brother among us, and he steered everyone to the right direction. I would say something in Bangla, Abba, he said, you know, whoever goes front, everybody will follow him there. He invested so many things in my elder brothers, and he is the right person who steered all us into the right direction. And now we are trying to say that Songru Bayasan should do some good things under the Songru Foundation umbrella. So ladies and gentlemen, I welcome my brother Rafiq Islam, the CSO, Chief Scientific Officer, Co-Founder of Songru Bioscience and Director of Songru Foundation. Thank you.